Hi guys, welcome back. This is uh, episode four of Ask the Boss. Uh, we have a special guest, Luke Brooks. Luke, welcome. Thanks, mate. Four weeks out from the season start. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Excited about um, starting the season. It's come around pretty quick, as it always does. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. So there's a few uh, inevitable questions that I ask. This is obviously a new facility. Um, you've been here a long time. You've been through many iterations of many different facilities. <laughs> how does this stack up and how are you feeling? You're enjoying the new facility and what are you getting out of it? I actually like the old facility better. <laughs> well, I'll pass that on to the state government and the federal government. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's good. It's, um, yeah, I, I remember when you showed me the plans for it when it was like in 2015. Yeah, I and told you didn't you, believe me. Yeah. No, I told you that I didn't really care to be honest. But um, now that we've got it um, and have everything here, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. And when you, you know, say you didn't care, players, you know, this is bells and whistles, but it doesn't determine success as we've spoken about many times, does it? No, nah, not at all. Um, it's. Yeah, it's good to have all this stuff, but if you're still not performing on the field, then it um, then it doesn't really matter. So we'll jump straight in. We've got two segments today. So the first segment, uh, these questions have come from members who actually uh, entered a competition and we encourage more members and fans to complete the surveys found on our competition page on the website. But these are members that selected you, Brooksy, as their favourite West Tigers player. First question comes from Anne Robinson, who's been a 13-year member. So, Anne, thank you very much for your support and continued support. Question is, are you looking forward to working with a new look forward pack? Yeah, thanks, Anne. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, obviously got some uh, big boys in our forward pack with uh, Clemmer, uh, Ice on the, on the edge, and Johnny Bateman coming as well. So, yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing with those guys and especially with Appy Coruscant. Um Just, uh, I've noticed a diff difference already at um, at training, uh, what he does around the ruck. It just takes a lot of pressure off me. Um, the defence is worried about him and um, what what he's doing around the ruck. So uh, I think a lot of our forwards will be getting tries this year off, off um, Appy, especially here. Twali, I think I think he's going to Twali, go. going to break first. it. Yeah, get off the nudie. I still think for Twali's brand and increasing his value, he should hold off scoring as long as possible <laughs> <laughs> to I make think, it a separate storyline. I think that might be happening. He maybe he hasn't told anyone, but that's his plan. Yeah, that's his plan. I think you give him too much credit. Smart. <laughs> oh, yeah. The um, you spoke about clean. You spoke about ice coming on board. Um, there's also some young guys that you know, both Stefano, Fenua Pol. Those blokes, you know, Stefano, I think, missed at least half the year. Mm. Um, having them fit and ready and some of the younger guys coming through, there's quite a lot of depth in the forward pack as well, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. That's what I'm most excited about as well, our young guys coming coming through. We've obviously seen um, Fanua get a taste last year, Justin uh, Matamua as well. Um, so I think they're really good players that, um, uh, that Clem will be able to help come through. And you also mentioned Stefano. I think he was one of our best players in... Um, 2021 so unfortunately had a lot of injuries last year but um he's looking good he's looking fit uh he's a big body that um that i'm happy to play behind hmm. <laughs> um i know you've got ice on your edge at the moment yeah um whether it stays like that up to the coaches and yourself but you would have played against ice obviously you're, you're pretty happy not having him run at you <laughs> Yeah, I remember against um, Para last year at Leichhardt, he, he ran straight at me and bumped me off. So, yeah, I'm glad glad that he's on my edge yeah, um, and running off me, not running over me. <laughs> so, next question comes from Michael Yamuni. Hopefully, I pre um, announced, pronounced that correctly. 17-year uh, member. So, Michael, thank you very much. Uh, his question, from my heart, I would like to commend you on how you've handled yourself professionally. All the negativity that's in the media about you, along with negative comments from our so-called fans and members, I stand, with, I stand with you through thick and thin. I'm not sure there's a question there, so I'll just <laughs> add one. Um, we've often spoken, you and I, about who's being um, criticised more at any particular time, you or me. Um, but with all seriousness, it, it, you know, it does affect individuals. Mm. Um, how have you dealt with it over certainly the last two or three years? 
Um, and I will say too that you know we we and I know you do too, Luke. We both understand and cop the criticism because we haven't performed on the field. Mm. But how do you deal with the constant criticism that's been going on for some time now? Um, yeah. Well, firstly, I'd like to thank Michael for that um, that comment. I uh, really appreciate it. And I think um, with comments like this, and a lot of people. Um, when I'm at the shops, a lot of Tigers fans will come up to me and say they back me and um, they're sticking by me. So there's a lot of negativity, but at the, at the same time, there's a lot of um, positive comments. So um, yeah, people like Michael are always coming up to me and um, saying they got my back. So I really appreciate that. That um, really helps. Um, but yeah, I guess I learned pretty quick that um, there's going to be uh, a lot of negative stuff, especially... Uh, being a halfback and um, I guess when the team's going well you, you get the praise and then when the team's uh, not doing well you're going to get the blame so um, yeah I sort of just try not to read it try and stay away from it it's hard these days with all the social media yep. and um, all the TV shows that are on these days so um, but yeah I try to just not read it as much as possible and as we all know the best way to stop the criticism is to win games exactly right which we're all aiming to do <laughs> Um, do you think you're obviously uh, engaged, married later this year, um, new baby, little Billy? Has that brought a different level of balance or perspective to life for you? Yeah, I think it has. Um, it, yeah, it definitely has changed um, the way I see things. And um, instead of going out on the beers, I'd rather be at home with her. So, hmm. um, yeah, it's uh, it's... I think it will, obviously you haven't played since um, she's been born, but I think um, it will take a, uh, take away a lot of the pressure once I go home and sort of let me not think about footy um, with having her around. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing and seeing how it goes with, with her. <laughs> Are you um, surprised that you've been able to find someone to marry? <laughs> Well, if you can, anyone can. <laughs> <laughs> and strangely, for 20-odd years now. Yeah. Um, another question from Jan uh, Tymon, 14-year member, so lots of committed members, which is awesome. How has training at the New Zurich Centre affected your routine and do you get nervous before a game? Yeah, thanks, Jan. Um, it's probably made me do ice bars more. I've never been a massive fan of ice bars. Um, but now, yeah, having all the recovery and pool and stuff there, it's um, yeah, it's probably made me do it a lot more. And it does it, it? It positively affects the routine, though, doesn't it? Because previously, you would go for recovery to a pool, would have to drive elsewhere, would have to go off-site. Having it all here as a one-stop shop certainly must make it more efficient and easier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, before we had this, we obviously had to we would swim at Leichhardt, um, sometimes drive to another gym or um, drive to another field now that everything is here it just makes it a lot easier um, you finish a session you go straight into the ice bars or go for a swim we've got a sauna as well that um, Twally loves <laughs> that's why he's in. so ripped lives in <laughs> yeah so um, do I get ner nerv uh, nervous before a game um, sometimes I do it sort of depends on the game usually I'm I'm pretty good but I'll probably get nervous driving to the game. I just want to sort of get there, and once I'm in the sheds, then I'm, I'm okay. Do you have a routine? Are you superstitious? Oh, not, not really, but if I do something, where, uh, if I have a good game, I Reflect sort of on what yeah, you did. try and do that the next week, but then, um, yeah, if we don't win or something, then that goes out the window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lewis War, five-year member. Uh, Luke, what area would you like to focus on improving under the new coaches in 2023? Um, yeah, thanks, Lewis. Um, probably just playing more footy. Um, I think looking back at the way the Tigers used to play under Sheensy is they're always an attacking team. So uh, I, I want to get back to that and not, not being afraid to play footy. Um, I see a lot of footy now is just five hit-ups for a kick, but um, yeah, we want to be an attacking side and um, just playing what I see. So that was part of the you know process behind Tim and Benji and Robbie um, coming back, that DNA from those successful 
yeah. um, years back in the sort of mid 2000s and all the way to sort of 2011. Um, how have you found the new coaches? And obviously I had Dave Ferner in there as well compared to, you know, your history from junior all the way through. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's been really good. Um, I sort of miss, I've just missed Sheenzy. Um, he he got sacked um, literally like a month or two before I, I started uh, training first grade. So, um, yeah, I always wanted to be coached by him and, um, yeah, I think his style of coaching will, will suit my um, style of play. So, um, yeah, it's been enjoyable so far. And you obviously played a lot of footy with both Benj and Robbie. How, how, do you, how do you feel the transition has gone for them from players to coach and how are you adapting now as teammates, <laughs> now as assistant coaches? I don't think too much has changed. I really? <laughs> still sort of feel like they're teammates. But, um, yeah, obviously you spent a lot of time with them uh, over the years but um, I think they both got a um, they sort of I didn't expect them to be as good as they were um, in the coaching department um, they're very clear in what they want and um, that makes it a lot easier for us players so um, yeah I think they're they're going to be have long careers in, in the coaching department oh, nice um, a nice segue into careers from Anne Talkins who's a 16 year member Luke, uh, firstly, she would like to obviously wish you all the best for the coming season. Thanks, Anne. Her question is, do you, see, do you see yourself committing to the West Tigers beyond 2023 and being a one-club player? Yeah, I guess... Um, Good it's... question, Anne, by the way. <laughs> Put me under the pump. Nah. <laughs> um, I guess, yeah, these days there's not many one-club players, but um, I think it would be... It's something that um, would be nice to do. Uh, obviously... Anything can happen in rugby league these days. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure what's going to happen beyond 2023. But, um, yeah, I would like to obviously stay at the Tigers. Um, if I could be a one-club player, that would be massive. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, Dylan Jessup, one-year member. So, Dylan, welcome as a new member. And we look forward to uh, you being a big part of the club for the future, someone who cops a lot of criticism, which we've sort of addressed. Mm. How do you tune all that out on game day? Oh, we yeah, you sort of have to. <laughs> you can't be worried about what people are going to say uh, in a game. You've got to focus on uh, what you're doing and what your job is for that game. So um, I've never really noticed it leading into a game um, that I've thought about what people are going to say. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think we've sort of addressed a lot of these, yeah. but Graham Tripp, um, 10-year member, lifelong fan. Uh, what's the difference working with Benji as a coach rather than a teammate? So maybe I should have read that question in advance of asking just before. If you've done your homework. Yes. With Sheen's um, expected to open up our attack, attack how That's do you it. think it will impact your game? Yeah, obviously we spoke about Benji before, but um, I think one thing with him as well is it's focusing on your strengths. So it's not trying to turning you into someone else someone that you're not so he sort of picked out all the strengths um what sort of plays work for me and what what sort of plays work for the boys in the team so it, it's all about um sticking to what you're good at so um if you like for instance if goal kicking if you kick a certain way he's not going to try to change it he's um whatever feels comfortable for you that's the way um he's going to let you do that and I think that's the same with Sheenzy as well um as I said before a lot a lot of his game plan is about the attack and um yeah you, you've seen in days gone by they would win games like 36 to 34 so mm. <laughs> um that's sort of gone out the window a bit with teams and um yeah we sort of want to bring back that attack and soil. so training's obviously different than previous years uh, I see a lot more skills um, being implemented training yeah. just basic skills yeah, yeah. yeah. Sheens is big on um, everyone being able to catch and pass um, if you look back at that 05 team you look through their team every every um, player could catch and pass and they would never they would always just a slick ball movement they'll make a break and then move the ball to the other side and score yeah. tries there. so um, yeah they were really entertaining team and that's what um, he's bringing here with us. He wants our forwards to be able to ball play, um, wingers, centers, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Jody Brown, ten-year member. Uh, this is a good question, Jody. So thank you. What's it like playing uh, in the team you grew up supporting? 
Um, yeah, uh, thanks, Jody. Uh, it's yeah, it means means a lot. Um, all I ever wanted to do when I was younger was play for the Tigers. So um, yeah, it's it's it, mean, it means um, a lot to me and a lot to my family as well. Uh, my mum was a massive Balmain fan, so I can remember her taking uh, myself and my older brother to the to Leichhardt games while she was pregnant with my younger brother, so waddling up the hill um, with a big belly. But um, yeah, a lot of good memories uh, growing up as a Tigers fan. Talking of Leichhardt, favourite ground to play at? Um, yeah, it has to be Leichhardt. Um, yeah, played all my junior... Junior grand finals there, so um, had a lot of premierships won at that ground. <laughs> so when you when you run out at somewhere like a Combank with thirty thousand or Suncorp with forty odd thousand, and you run out with Leichhardt at you know sort of that seventeen eighteen thousand, it's fair to say that the atmosphere is as good if not better, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Even when there's like ten thousand, there's been nights where it's been raining, but. Um, and they still turn up. There'll be like ten thousand there, but it feels like thirty thousand. So um, yeah, it's always a good atmosphere there, and they always turn up um, to those those grounds. So um, yeah, we want to start repainting them by winning games there. We asked Clem last time as a player, how much does that affect you? The crowd supporting you, cheering for you. Yeah, it's it's massive, um, especially in the the tight games when um, yeah it goes down to the wire. The crowd gets behind you and. Um, sort of lifts you but um, I think there's nothing better than running out to a packed uh, packed hill at Leichhardt I remember my first game there um, that was like that was a dream of mine is to play a first grade game at Leichhardt and we played there in 2014 uh, against Manly and I remember Woodsy I was at the back and Woodsy chucked me out the front and goes get out the front behind Farrell was a skipper I get behind um, Farrell and just experience it the uh, roar out. of the crowd and yeah I'll never forget that and we had a great game yeah, that cool. day as well so obviously round one and round two we're playing there Sunday yep. night six o'clock I think round yep. one and then the following uh, Sunday four o'clock against the Titans and Newcastle respectively so all fans and members obviously go to our website and purchase tickets for those games because they are selling out fast in fact I think corporately they're already sold out um, which is great for us who's your all-time favorite player the same question from or another question from Jody um firstly for either Belmain Magpies or West Tigers and then secondly across the whole NRL I was probably a bit a bit young to remember Belmain oh, I probably only went to a couple games in 1999 so I don't really remember yeah. Belmain but um yeah growing up was definitely Benji and um uh, when Scotty Prince was playing at the Tigers I love watching him um, those two together was a great combo. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say those two. So, in regards to now bring it forward to today's game, who's the Benji and who's the Scotty Prince out of you and Dewey? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You can't really replicate them. <laughs> no, you can't. Hard to do. Generational. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, who's the toughest opponent you played against? Toughest? Um... Gay guy? <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> he gave me a good shiner. So, um, uh, maybe uh, I reckon one of the hardest blokes to tackle is Jaden Sua. He's um, I remember we versed him for um, when he was playing at CS and he'd just get early ball and try and fend me and palm me off, and then and then he can put shots on in um, defence. So. Um, yeah, I had a nightmare against him once and got dropped to the bench after that. <laughs> um, Raymond Gavin, nine-year member. Um, over the last couple of years, you've copped a lot of blame for the club's poor performances, but you've stayed loyal. Why and what drives your loyalty, passion for the club? Um, the CEO? What? The CEO? <laughs> yeah, not him, but um, <laughs> uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Raymond. Um, yeah, I guess... Being a fan of the club as a young young bloke obviously plays plays a part in that, and um, I guess the main thing is I, I want to see this club um, successful, and I want to be a part of it. Um, for so long we've obviously um, struggled, and a few years we've been close, but um, yeah, I think this club um, 
if we're if we're winning, we'll be we'll be massive. So um, I think back in 05 when the when when they won, being a fan that was that was massive for me. So I know what it's like to be a fan and of when they're winning and when they've struggled. So um, yeah, I guess um, I love the club and I've obviously been here for a long time and I just want to see it um, be successful. I think it's it's a good question though because. Um, you know, this is coming to year seven for me. Like, I love the club too. And I think all the things that we've all collectively gone through, um, there'd be no better feeling than having success mm. here. Yeah. And you don't want to go away from that because you've worked so hard to get to this point. You don't want to actually run the other way and, you know, the grass is greener type scenario. You actually want to work through this and actually see this be successful. And as you said, like 2005, it'll be bigger again mm. when we're successful. Yeah, definitely. So these, these are questions now from our social media platforms. The first question comes from Kaza Khan, five-year member. How are you approaching this year differently to past seasons? Uh, part A. Yep. Oh, you're he, he going to read them out? Or no, I'm me, just going to do Part A, then Part B. <laughs> Can I answer? Yeah, yeah go, Tess. <laughs> um, I guess, I think this year, I just want to get back to enjoying footy again. Um, and I think that's the sort of approach the whole the whole squad has um has had leading into this um pre-season everyone's enjoying being here and um i think that when you when you're having fun it makes it a lot easier to turn up and um perform so um yeah just really enjoying it um yeah that's probably the main one as you're part b as you reflect on uh the past 10 years what could you have done better um, I don't know. That's a tough one. Um, I guess maybe when I was younger, coming into it, um, I think because growing up, being in successful teams, you sort of think it will happen pretty quickly. But um, as I found out that it, it's hard to be successful in the NRL, so um, I don't know how you would change it, but um. Maybe not, not being happy, just being a first grader when I was younger, just really wanting to um, be successful because now I've realised how hard it is. Uh, question from Matt Patani, a West Tigers fan. How do you plan on improving your game to take it to the next level this year? Part A. Um, I think, as I touched on earlier, earlier, um, just attacking more, um, not being afraid to to see things and, and go after it. Um, yeah, I think, and that's with Shanezy and Benji um, taking us, I think that's going to help as well. Um, how do you plan on improving? I oh, know we just did that. Do you plan on taking on a leadership game management approach or will you be focusing on ball running and creating moments for the boys around you? Um, so only oh. giving Alex Twyle the chance to score. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, both. I'll be... Uh, as a senior player, I definitely have to um, be a leader of the team and, and be in the halfback um, that comes with the game management. So uh, I think having Appy and, and Dewey there would definitely help me uh, with that game management. Uh, Appy will take the forward, uh, get the forwards going forward and then, um, yeah, they'll lay the platform for me. Um, running the ball, yeah, I definitely want to run the ball. Um, I think I'm playing my best footy when I'm running the ball, so... Um, yeah, I think um, having and for creating moments for the boys around me. I think having quality players around me, as I said, Appy, Dewey in the in the um, spine, and then Dano at the back, and then having two stripe back rowers will definitely um, create chances. And of course, we had the scrimmage last Friday, uh, and we had a really good turnout with fans and members. What do you think of that? Yeah, it was good. It was good to see um, plenty of fans and members. Uh, turn out to the training session um yeah we always love it um when they come out and show support um especially after the last few year, few years has been really tough and they keep turning up so we really appreciate it um we've got family day obviously tonight or family night tonight so um last year we had one in the car park across the road this year we've obviously got it inside <laughs> the new facility the zurich center um during the off season having players come without prompting them with their families, their siblings. I saw some players bringing mum and dad through this facility. It just shows that it, 
you know, people are really proud of the work environment that we've created, which is great. Um, and having all the family here uh, tonight's going to be, and it's, I've seen the list, it's not just, you know, partners or, or kids, it's actually mm. mums and dads and uncles and everything. So it'll be, I think it'll be nice. Yeah, it's, it's good the, the way the club's really trying to bring in the families and um, I think it, it means a lot to them as well. So um, we want to be a big family club that everyone feels welcome. Yeah. And um, yeah, I guess um, for me, it's, it's, it's cool to finally have a, a kid to bring along. Um, I think over, over the years, I've always seen boys bring, on, bring their kids onto the field. So I'm looking forward to mm. being, a, being able to do that. Um, when's number two? Uh, after the wedding. After the wedding? A bit of a break and then... Where's the wedding? Um, you don't have to disclose. Is it in... I'm not telling you. <laughs> New South Wales? I don't know. <laughs> Many people going? Yeah, there'll be a few. No, Twilies, was, Twilies was good. He invited me. <laughs> uh, Luke, any questions of myself? Because um, usually the, the guests also ask questions. Um, I just made that video. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing for you, mate. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for your time. I know that uh, you've obviously um, training hasn't started yet for today, so you've come in early for this, so it is appreciated. I look forward to seeing you, Taylor, and Billy tonight at the family event. Um, good luck for the season. Obviously, uh, we're all in it together. To all the fans and members, again, for um, writing in your questions and obviously looking at this segment. As we say, we do try and be as transparent as possible um, and bring you into the inner sanctum of the club and we really appreciate all your support. So we look forward to seeing you out in the trial games. We've got the first one over in um, Auckland and then the second one at Belmore, I think against the Raiders. So, And then our first game on the uh, 5th of March. So look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you.